So one more example here. Um, the last one we have the series from n equals 1 to infinity of 4n squared over the uh, square root of 9n to the fourth plus 1. We could use the, uh, the limit comparison test. And if I used the limit comparison test, I would keep you know, the n squared from the numerator. You can keep the 4 or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, in the denominator, we've got an n to the fourth. But if we square root that, we get n squared. Um, so really, if you simplify this down, um, you know, n squared over n to the fourth is just going to equal 1. Well, if you sum from 1 to infinity of 1, that's definitely divergent. So to me, that's making me think, you know, actually what I'm going to do is just something a little bit different. So um, this is making me really realize that for large values of n, um, this limit's not going to go to 0. So recall the test for divergence. Right, the test for divergence says if the limit is not zero, the series automatically diverges. Well, if we do the limit as n goes to infinity of four n squared over the square root of nine n to the fourth plus one. Again, what we can do is divide by the highest power of n in the denominator. So I see an n to the fourth in the denominator. But again, if we square root that, we get n squared. So if you multiply the numerator by 1 over n squared and the denominator by 1 over n squared, well, in the numerator, you've got the limit as n goes to infinity of just 4. We can rewrite 1 over n squared as the square root of 1 over n to the fourth. And again, that's what I'm going to distribute underneath the radical. So we're left with 4 in the numerator, and the denominator will have 9n to the 4th over n to the 4th, which is 9, plus 1 over n to the 4th. Well, as n goes to infinity, the 1 over n to the 4th is going to go to 0, so we're going to be left with 4 over root 9, or 4 thirds. And since this is not equal to 0, it says our original series uh, automatically diverges. Notice in our first two series, if we had done the limit as n goes to infinity, both the first limit would equal 0 and the second limit would also equal 0. And in that case, the test for divergence simply says it's inconclusive, which as these two examples show, it may uh, diverge or it may converge. But in this case, we can just use the test for divergence, uh, test for divergence immediately and be finished.